Creating engaging conflict is one of the best ways that you can engage your reader in your story. Today, I'm going to give you two examples. One story is not going to have any conflict at all, and the other story is going to have a lot of conflict. And I think you're going to be able to tell the difference. First story. I sat down and I ate some yummy pizza. It was really good. Then I drank some soda. It was delicious. Second story. So I'm sitting down to eat some pizza. And as I'm just about to take a bite, I notice like three or four people staring at me, like really intently watching me as I'm about to take a bite. And then I notice a strange odor coming from the pizza. I'm like, oh, so I'm a little suspicious at this point. So I turn um, across the cafeteria and I see another guy. He's my friend. Well, it's not really my friend. I don't really like him. I'm like, hey, Ted, come over here and take a bite of this pizza. Let me know what you think. <laughs> Maybe this isn't the perfect example of conflict, but your story really does need to have something interesting that's happening. Um, yes, you should have moments where there's downtime where your characters are recovering, especially after a big climactic moment, but there should always be some sort of conflict that's driving your story forward. Follow for more writing tips.